then automatically we have a process set up because it's not already provided for in the ordinance whereby the PC can look at it and say okay well we like this use here but we don't like it here uh, depending on the location what it is what is surrounding the location they're proposing and they can say yes or no they can give uh, conditions and then they send it on to you all for your final approval uh, and then it sets up in addition if a use is uh, being performed in violation of this ordinance then the city has the ability to go directly to circuit court and challenge the use as a nuisance per se and if the city were to prevail then we can collect our reasonable legal fees <laughs> so I don't know if that was English we don't know. That's a lot better than run. this <laughs> in, in, in the future when it has public hearing and, and Mark do I present this to you would you add something that someone from the public might be if they're interested in they would understand what it means <laughs> specifically referring to um, a, a building housing medical marijuana or any other use a use not specifically in our ordinance was wonderful that was a great sense so basically it's like a catch-all yes okay so in John's terminology since he's not here to protect himself <laughs> oh, no. I know why now <laughs> uh, this is kind of like a super secret little law that we've got that we could actually use for anything no no that's well secret. there's it's, it's not saying it's not, anything it's it's not it's super for. secret because we just talked about it well, on okay. TV <laughs> <laughs> and um, we can't use it for everything we can only use it for unanticipated uses that are not already in our ordinance and provided for which makes okay. sense which, which is now the <laughs> previous discussion <laughs> this would not pertain to that because we have an ordinance yes, that deals with uh, multiple Units, correct? For example. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be a use. Say, okay, say a um, liquor store. Just as an example, somebody wants to use an existing building as a liquor store. <coughs> we, we have provisions for that already. So yeah. we're going to use those. Right. Now, if somebody comes with something that we don't have already, like, say, a, a check cashing, one of those check cashing uh, cash in advance places we don't have anything for that then we have a chance to look at it and say okay do we want this where do we want it in the city depending on where it's proposed and is it in a residential area for example I hope we have something about check cashing place since we have two or three of them in the city already I know you just yeah I, I get okay. it now <laughs> and I, I, your explanation is wonderful what's what's written for a public hearing to me is not really asking for a public hearing because it's um, a lot of words strung together in a sentence but it meets so the requirements for they have to publish it right as it's written I mean I, I agree with you it, it oh needs some clarification but and it's got to be written the requirements <laughs> As, as a basic is different than imparting information and that's what I'd yeah. like to do is impart the information and not uh, that's why no one's here for look public hearing on it exactly. <laughs> no one knew what it meant <laughs> okay so madam mayor I move the ordinance to amend chapter 34 <sighs> land development regulations article X 10 zoning division one Wait a minute. you're too public, yeah. public. we're on nine you're on ten. Oh man <laughs> I knew like I didn't we don't like have this a thing. <laughs> 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 we yeah. don't need a motion for nine. Yeah, yes. You just have to open and close it. You oh, did okay. not. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Hurry up and close it so I can make we, that motion. We were on line <laughs> item nine for public hearing, yes. but needed yes. a yes. description of what the public hearing is for, <coughs> first of all. So we have that description. Any use not specifically in our ordinance. And then the process that will happen and the process is a well-defined process going to the planning com committee um, planning committee making their determination mm -hmm. then that recommendation coming to council okay public hearing is now open don't all come at once <laughs> <laughs> all right public hearing is closed 
Now, now we're on to number 10, and again, I'm sorry, number 10 is, does exactly reference what our public hearing was about. It's the amendment to the ordinance regarding uses not specifically mentioned in our ordinance. Mm -hmm. Now, can I make my motion? <laughs> now you can. <laughs> I move the ordinance to amend Chapter 34, Land Development Regulations, Article 10, Zoning Division 1, generally repeal and replace Section 34-486, uses not otherwise specified within a use district, excluding uses not mentioned and providing <laughs> waivers from such inclusion within the City of Clawson, and providing penalties for any violation and setting forth the statement of purpose for such ordinance be entered into first reading. Support. No. <laughs> because this is a first reading means it will come up again at the next council meeting for second mm -hmm. reading. So anybody who is interested on in speaking to any of those issues would be another time for you to speak to any use not specifically in our ordinance. Really any questions? <laughs> Roll call please. Tom Palmer? Yes. Kathy Phillips? Yes. Howie Ayers? Yes. Penny Lutz? Yes. Samuel Moore? Yes. <laughs> now we are on to the second reading of an, an ordinance That's to amend Chapter 34. Again, the land development regulations to create a new zoning district called the Business Renewal District. And this is at the south end of Clawson on Main Street. Your Honor, I move the ordinance to amend Chapter 34 of the Land Development Regulations of the Code of Ordinances to create a new zoning district to be included under Division 26, Business Renewal District 1, be entered into second reading and adopted. Board. This is the one Vidya talked to us about at the last meeting, right. correct? Okay. I just want to make sure we were talking the same one. And this is the area that does encompass um, Bayless, uh, the forklift. And so, to my understanding, we were assured that Bayless would be able to continue their operation even though they're now defined as non-conforming. And in fact, they would be able to expand that operation. That Is that right? On, that comes up under agenda item number 12. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And, and in my mind, again, the... Um, <coughs> The, the amendment for that, I, I, I want to know the amendment is going to pass, so these items are, are backwards or out of order in my mind, but we were assured that that would happen. Any questions? Roll call, please. Kathy Phillips? Yes. Howie Harris? Yes. Penny Lou? Yes. Samuel Moore? Yes. Tom Palmer? Yes. Now on to the amendment to the ordinance we just approve that non-conforming uses of land <coughs> that will add new conditions for expansion or alteration of non-conforming uses of land. And to clarify the language, hmm, <laughs> of be entered into first reading. <laughs> Mayor, I move the ordinance to amend Chapter 34, Land Development Regulations, Article 10, Zoning. Division 3, Nonconformity, Section 34-573, Nonconforming Uses of Land, Subsection 1, to add new conditions for expansion or alteration of nonconforming uses of land and to clarify the language to be entered into first reading. Support. Any other questions? Yeah. The more we write, the less we clarify. Exactly. <laughs> um, and that, yeah. that was to clarify the language. It's so... Let's clarify the language on each and every item. <laughs> because lawyers wrote it. I, I don't, I no think offense. Don denied use <coughs> of writing this last meeting, but hey. All right. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Madam Mayor. Uh, I, there is a, a uh, <clears throat> there is a problem with this one, and I'm trying to